Hello everyone, this is Iconacona, and here I'm defending as a soldier on Control Point Egypt. Now this is the last map of Egypt, and I like to stay around here, right above the enemy spawn. And it's because it's, it gives me a good height advantage over the enemy, but also because the attacking team likes to pop Uber when the round starts, and you can see that they actually have two Ubers. And if I stay up here, they'll just waste their Ubers, and I can just start spamming rockets. Now, I was pretty lucky to get that uh, medic from this far away. Usually I can't do much damage or I can't even get a lot of kills from very very far away as a soldier. I'm just kind of spamming away hoping to get some kind of hit and just damage the enemy. Now here this engineer kind of flanks us from the left side and he's starting to set up a lot of a lot of mini sentries and those uh, those combat engineers they can be very very difficult to deal with because a very effective strategy with combat engineer is to place down your mini sentry and then kind of go in a different direction of your mini sentry. That way I have to choose between either trying to kill the engineer himself or trying to get the sentry before it builds. Now the enemy team pushed up pretty far here and now we're just trying to defend this first point. And unfortunately right now we do not have a medic. So that full med pack right behind me is actually the only real source of health anywhere nearby just in case I get hit and we have about five guys that when they get hit they're gonna go running back for that health pack and so you can see that it's very very important to have a medic on the front lines healing because not all of us are gonna be able to share that health pack so here I get pretty badly damaged and now I have to retreat for health and unfortunately this health pack is the only health around in this area and I had to take it that soldier that's past me, I think he wanted the health pack as well. And unfortunately, we can't share health packs. There's no dispenser around, no medics around, so I'm sorry about that. So here, trying to defend the point, I got these two kills, and I'm trying to get this engineer, and he gets away. I really thought I had him. And now I'm just trying to spam out this doorway, trying to keep them from the point. And look who shows up. It's Strobe Light being a medic. Thank you very much. Uh, we really, really needed a medic, and look at that. I, I take a lot of damage around this area because it's a very, very small room, and he can heal me right back to full health, so thank you. So here I pull back to the last point, and I usually do this on control point maps when the enemy team captures the first point. As I pull back to the last point, and I make sure that we don't get spy capped or we don't get scout capped because that can be kind of embarrassing where you're doing such a good job trying to keep everyone away from the point yet you don't have anyone watching the last point and you get spy capped it's it's, it's a painful defeat when that happens so here we're pushing out this door and it's, it's a little more than I want to I don't really like to go out this door too much but strobe light my medic here actually has crits and so he pops it for me so I figured I'd just use it so of course I go for the medic, I try to go for medics when I see them. I'm trying to catch up to these guys but I fail at rocket jumping. Luckily I get one more kill with the crits and oh, I can't even jump up this little wall. Uh, I, I need to practice, especially in clutch situations I really need to practice my rocket jumping. So here flanking the enemy from behind, they don't even see us. Get a nice rocket kill and a shotgun kill and we clear the point here. Just trying to give my medic some covering fire and trying to retreat. So I think here I actually hear the enemy team has an uber and so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spam rockets to make them pop uber prematurely and sure enough it works. They pop uber all the way out there that means they're gonna waste it trying to get to us and here they just have the last bit of their uber they run out in the middle of this room and I managed to get one of them so that worked really well. Now this concept of making the enemy medic pop his uber early is a very very effective strategy in competitive play and in fact that's where I learned of this strategy. Now I watch a lot of XTV and Vanilla TV which is competitive TF2 and what they'll do is they'll send in scouts and soldiers to attack the medic and if the medic has an uber charge he will pop it just to stay alive just to save his life and that way you can force they call it forcing the pop and It'll make them waste that uber. So after this crit, someone's actually trying to capture our last point. I think someone was going for a spy cap, so I decided to pull back here. And I'm just making sure that this area is clear, but my teammates seem to have it covered, which is awesome, even without a sentry gun. 
So I find our medic Strobelite back here and decide to help him build up Uber a little quicker. And this is actually another strategy I learned from watching competitive TF2. If you damage yourself, it actually helps the medics build up Uber faster. So actually it's a good thing if you get damaged, not die. <laughs> it's a good thing if you get slightly damaged from the enemy because it actually helps the medics build up Uber a little quicker. Now here I start spamming in this room and I don't really like that room because it's a little small for my taste. As a soldier, I know that if someone were to ambush me in that room, I would probably damage myself a lot from the splash damage. And so I kind of like to stay out here, kind of get a sense of where the enemy is before I go in because I don't want to be surprised by them. Now here, Annoying Scout is annoying, and I play Ring Around the Rosie with this guy. I do manage to get him, as well as an assist on this Pyro, and here comes a Battle NG. Now I take him out with my shotgun, but I thought I had no bullets left in my shotgun or my rocket launcher, and so I whip out my equalizer and just equalize that sentry to death. Um, it was the, I think that's actually the first time I took out a sentry with my equalizer. Now, I noticed that our medic actually is close to crits, actually has 100% right now, and he pops it for me, and so now it's time to push, but here is a major fail on my part. I could not get a single kill with this crits. It runs out, and I actually almost got killed by that pyro, and I go through this room, and I was expecting to get at least a hit. I don't think I got a hit during that entire time, and so that was just a complete fail, and I, I apologize for that. So posting behind these pillars here, just waiting for the enemy team, and I know they're going to want to use that top right gate right there. That is a very popular spot for the enemy to come out, because it's actually on the opposite side of the spawn area, our spawn area. So a lot of, a lot of times, we'll get flanked from that side, and here I actually go for this medic, and I get flanked myself. A lot of times, we'll just kind of pay attention to the left side, and they end up they end up flanking us from the right side, so it's really important to also check the right side when defending this last point. So I'm just kind of waiting here, and here's my medic again, strobe light. Thank you very much for being medic. Uh, and the enemy team pops Uber again on the right side because they're using that gate to hold up and build up Uber. So I'm just kind of spamming here, and I know that there's a heavy back there because this soldier just died. And so here's this heavy and medic pair, and I can't do much, especially with that medic on that heavy. All I can do is really spam and just kind of distract them, and I'm hoping maybe that we can flank them. But actually, we are really, really close to crits. Now, when we're ready to have crits, they're gone. The medic and heavy are gone, and so I just have to use this crits on this soldier right here. And I get one last shot, boom, right here on this demo man who opens this gate. Now, this gate is a one-way gate, and so I cannot get in there. What I am trying to do is actually, I am trying to wait for them to leave the gate open long enough for me to ambush them and kind of rush them through that gate. So you can see I'm just kind of like, I'm waiting for them to just leave the gate open. Now, this, thank you, and also, strobe light right down there is actually healing me. Thank you very much for healing me from down there. You can see this demo man actually is just trying to lay some sticky traps right outside this gate. And usually the enemy team will see those sticky traps, and so you can see the gates opening and closing. What they're trying to do is actually make the, our demo man detonate his stickies prematurely without, without actually doing any damage. So it's a little strategy. It's kind of like a back and forth between these two, because they won't go outside this gate until those sticky bombs are gone. So now that they're gone, I'm waiting for the enemy team to push out this gate right here. And actually, there goes a spy, so I call him out. And I know that they're waiting for the perfect opportunity to ambush us. But so am I. I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity, and here it is. They leave the gate open, and I just ambush them and kill all of them. But unfortunately, they have a teleporter still up, and a soldier gets through it and kills me. But he kills himself as well, so it's okay, but... That was a lot of fun, just waiting for them to open up that one-way gate, and I just got them all. So, just a few seconds left on the clock here, and just trying to defend this point, and we end up winning. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.